How's it going, everybody? Uh, this is Kun Chan, your instructor. Uh, and this week, we are going to go over how to uh, create a walk cycle. Um, so walk cycle is one of the most complicated uh, things that you can do in animation and if you can if you can do a walk cycle you can pretty much animate anything okay so uh, that's why uh, it's really important to get the walk cycle right um, so here we go we're gonna jump right into it so first I'll start off in animate uh, using action script 3 uh, and then we want to make sure we're over here in the properties tab, uh, changing it from the, uh, the dimensions of the stage from um, the default dimensions to 1280 by 720. Boom. Okay. Um, all right. So there is a um, combination of two techniques that we are going to use here. Okay, we are going to use um, traditional frame by frame uh, pose to pose animation uh, in combination with um, the classic tweening. Okay, uh, to get the uh, the walk cycle looking right. Basically, um, first off, uh, what I like to do is I like to go onto Google. Uh, and this is really good for like beginners. Uh, but if you look up uh, uh, walk cycle animation, well, um, you will see a bunch of references. Okay, um, that'll help you get started. I like using this one because it has the most. Um, uh, I feel like most uh, understandable concept of it. First. Uh, you start off with a contact pose, then a recoil pose or um, down pose, then a passing pose, uh, high point, and then back to contact. And then you do it again for the other leg, okay? Uh, if you complete this, you should be able to uh, make a loop. Uh, and once you've made a loop, we're going to use the tween to uh, move it from left to right, okay? Um, so we, here we go. Let's first start off um, so what I'll do is I'll create these contact poses for for you um, uh, these key poses uh, right here which is um, a great way to say pose by pose animation because now we are going to create our key poses and then we're going to go back go back and add in our in-betweens okay so let me go ahead and uh, draw those up real quick and I'm gonna pause the video and come right back all right, so now I have um, a walk cycle. Um, what I did was I went up here to controls. I turned on loop playback. So when I hit enter my keyboard, I can see it loop and playback to make sure it actually loops properly. Okay, um, it's not perfect, but you know it's a it's a quick it's a quickie. Um, I also turned on my onion skin so I can see um, you know my frames. Uh, multiple frames at once so the blue stands for the past and then the green stands for the future so that in it and uh, anime does a good job of representing that on the stage as well so um, we turn that off and hit enter we now see that my walk cycle loops and it's based on this thing that I found here okay it's got the contact recoil passing high points contact recoil passing high points con in fact contact the important part is this contact and this contact should be at the same the same frame, okay? So it's got to cycle all the way back to the first frame. And that's how you make it loop. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back inside here and we're going to add in our in-betweens. So right now it looks pretty good, but it's still pretty choppy, right? So we want to go back and add in more keyframes to smooth, it in, smooth this animation out a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that and uh, pause the animation. Um, just so you guys don't have to sit through it. All right, so as you can see, I added some more frames here. I pretty much just add one extra frame on each keyframe here. Uh, and then if we play it, you'll see that it looks much smoother than it did before. Um, so as you can see, um, the amount of keyframes affect how smooth the animation uh, looks, right? So if you had 
uh, key from for every frame, then it'll look really, really smooth. But I would be careful with doing that because you want to be smart. You know, you don't want to put, you don't want to overwork or put too much work into this animation uh, because one of the goals of, an, you know, doing work in the industry is getting things done as quickly as possible. Um, so you don't want to like go ahead and just do the maximum amount of time just because, you know, it's easier. <laughs> Um, so yeah, place your keyframes very strategically, right? I started off with just doing frame 1, frame 5, frame 10, 15, 20, 25, and then I, I moved them around and added keyframes um, in between, you know, each keyframe. And then what I did, I did was I removed some frames. So now I'm, I'm uh, working with less frames, which will make the animation look quicker as well, okay? Um, Alright, so the next step would be creating another uh, layer. So this is basically the sketch layer. So you would do another uh, refine layer with all the animations refined, um, you know, adding in color, adding in um, really clean line, line, uh, lines and um, making sure your solid drawings are into effects and uh, uh, referring back to the uh, principles of animation. Um, I'm not going to do the refined file uh, layer because, you know, I don't have that much time and I really want to give you a concept of how to do the walk cycle animation, not necessarily do it from, you know, uh, all the way all out, okay? Um, so I'm going to delete this. So now we have this. Let me turn off my skin. So now we have this. Um, we want to make him move um, from left to right, right? Um, there's two techniques. You can either uh, keep him moving uh, in place and then moving the background behind him, or what you can do is you can um, uh, convert him into a symbol and then using a tween, moving him from left to right. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So what we need to do is we're going to make a new layer, and then we're going to create a... Um, primitive, grab the primitive tool and just create a shape. Then we're going to use our selection tool, select the shape that we just created, turn it into a symbol, uh, and then we're going to name it walk cycle. Uh, and then make sure this is a graphic. Okay. What we're going to do next is we're going to right click on this layer here, hit cut. This is going to remove that layer put it into your clipboard and what we're going to do is we're going to paste it inside of this symbol. So to get inside of the symbol you just double click on it and if you look at the uh, breadcrumbs here now we know that we're inside the symbol. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on the layer itself. So the word layer, uh, you're going to right click on it and you're going to hit paste layers. Boom. And now um, this uh, layer is um, within this symbol. And we can go ahead and delete this layer. So now the only thing that's in here is the walk cycle symbol, which is right here. Uh, I don't think I showed you guys this in class, but what we can do too is um, use this handy dandy um, edit multiple frames feature. Just make sure you drag this all the way out. And what this will allow you to do is select multiple frames and move it where you want it to be moved. So I'm, I'm gonna move it um, right here in the middle. Okay, and then we're going to take this and we're going to move it back over here. All right, and then we're going to turn that off and go back to our stage. And here it is, uh, it as a symbol. And I can move it over here. And if I hit enter, it still is walking. Okay. Um, and the cool thing about it is if I uh, add more frames here, it'll still continue to walk forever and ever and ever until you know, we're out of frames. And the reason why that is happening is because if you select the symbol itself and go into the properties tab, there's a section called looping. Okay, this is, uh, symbols are automatically set to loop. But you can also set it to play once. So it'll, it'll only play once and then it'll stop. Um, or it'll play one single frame. Okay, and we can specify the first frame of it um, or we can just set it to loop and we can say, hey, start the loop at frame 27. And that's referring to, uh, if you go inside of it, these frames here. Okay. Um, but we're going to set it back to one. 
as the default, and yeah, it's going to continue. So the next thing we're going to do is make it move from left to right, and it's pretty easy. You just create a new keyframe here, uh, hitting F6, and then uh, we're going to take this and move it to the right. Okay, now now this is happening. Then you're going to right click on this be between this first frame and then this last frame. You're just going to right click and hit Create Class Between. And there you go. We, our character is walking. So you want to make sure to, if he seems like he's walking too fast, just to select an area here, hit F5, uh, or you can just go Insert Frame, and that'll make the animation longer. The great thing about Tween is we can we can drag this first this last keyframe around, you know, and now it's faster. Drag it over here. Now it's slower, and that looks a lot more, um, you know, reasonable. So that's pretty much it. Um, that is the tutorial on how to create a walk cycle. Uh, don't forget to rename all your layers. Okay, I'm gonna go inside here. Uh, walk cycle um, frame by frame. Okay, uh, and then. As always, don't forget to save. So I'm going to pop this in. Alright, I'm just going to save this on my documents. I'm going to set a walk cycle example. Boom. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know. Hit me up. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me know if this was helpful.